Choo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I guess a huge shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave for a very fair price for as little as $2 per blade refill. Harry's also supports great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care for those in need, men, veterans, and LGBTQ youths. What makes Harry's different is they've got sharp German engineered blades that have a 100% money back guarantee. I like using Harry's on my neckline for a close, smooth shave without getting any razor burn. In this box right here, folks, this is my Harry's weighted handle. Super, super high quality stuff here, as well as the shaving gel, which smells absolutely amazing. It's super rich texture, foaming shave gel. It is an absolute must have. Like I said, Harry's is super affordable with blade refills as low as $2, folks, two bucks. On top of that, you get the convenience of getting it delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the line, skip the store, save the fuel in your vehicles, folks. We've all seen the gas prices. Save the fuel and get delivered right to your doorstep using Harry's. You guys at home can redeem your own trial set for just $3 if you go to harrys.com slash flare. In your guys' trial set, you'll get a five bladed razor on top of the cover, on top of the weighted handle like this guy, and you guys will get some of this stuff, the good foaming shave gel. So go ahead and click the link down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Huge shout out to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which make videos for you guys to enjoy. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode. We are starting the day. We are at the ranch. It is beautiful. It is sunny. It is also a little toasty out here, folks. We're going to try doing something we've never done here at the ranch before, which is catch little crawl daddies. It's about that time of year, I feel like, when you, we did it last year, we did a big crawfish boil. We're hoping that we can find enough crawfish here to get them, but if we don't get enough here, or we don't get any, well, if we don't get any, we, you probably aren't going to be seeing this video, so if you're watching this, spoiler, we probably cost some crawfish, but if we don't get quite enough, we might have to go buy some. I don't know, maybe the creeks around here are juice. You guys have seen the videos, it's all rocky, it's like a clear creek, like, to me, it seems pretty crawfishy, if that's even a proper term. So, we're starting the day off, we are getting the mule loaded up, What's going on? You find anything cool? Yeah, mice. mice? Yeah, we saw big in. Wait, what? They're, they're getting in this. Oh, they're eating the mineral so blocks. Try to put that up or something, maybe? Yeah, we could set the blocks up on we that, maybe. Climb up it, but. Yeah, let's put some blocks. Yeah, they are making. Yeah, we saw some running. Oh, line. really? They ran out that hole right there. Freaking war out here, you folks. Start trapping. Yeah, Should we, we leave that as bait and put the mouse traps? Yeah, we that? we could. Yeah, we don't we don't have any mouse traps today, but we might have to come back with some big snappers. And they're not getting in the bags, which is good. I mean, if they eat that, I guess it is kind of is what. Man, it's steamy in here. Oh, this is like a sauna. Like this building feels like a freaking sauna in here. The trail cameras being kind of goofy, so we might have to put some new trail cameras up. We've got some pictures. We've got some oh, baby. There is, there is. Wait, what? What? Oh, right there, right there. oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 there's another one. Oh, oh god, there's another one. Oh god. He, dude, he went down there. He went through that. Oh yeah, we gotta get some traps out of here. Anyways, what I'm saying is the trail cameras, they've been dying, so we we got some new ones, but we'll pop up some pictures here. This is what we've been seeing on one of the trail cameras. As you can see, we've got some little fawns. Somebody had twins. And then we've got some bucks as well that have been kind of growing. So we're getting a little bit better idea of the buck to doe ratio out here now that we've got some cameras set up. So we gotta get some feed. I would say six bags, okay. maybe two per. Super. I filled it up a couple weeks ago, so it should be all right. We got some mineral, and like I said, we got some new trail cameras, but that's what this is about. We got the crawfish trap, so we're going to multitask. As we're out filling the feeders, we're going to be looking through the creeks, trying to find some of those pools. We found them before when we've been hiking and stuff. Find the little pools that maybe are a little deeper where the crawfish land or the rocks, and then what we got for bait over there? And that, see that corner? Some stinky deer. Ooh, this is some deer. This is actually good stuff. I don't know why I'm using it. Oh, another one. Oh, God. Oh, he just ran. See him? Oh, see, see him in the corner? Go get him, Zach. Go get him. Oh, God. I'm not Dude, oh yeah, there he goes. This is big chunky, big chunky. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's behind the post. He's we'll smack him. Yeah, you get him. The thing, they can get through these little, mm -hmm. so like they can literally go wherever. Yeah, he, he, I bet he crawled out. Freaking mice, dude. We're getting KO'd out here. Anyways, we got some deer jerky. You find another one? No, I was telling Zach this about this pipe. He doesn't know about it. Oh, you never seen the pipe? I haven't. Uh, that would be the uh, Piss Master 3000. Yeah. All right, that's no, where you put of, your. That's pretty innovative. Yeah. You go outside in the cold. Yeah. 
We just right outside. You need to have those in all the, uh, the tree stands. Oh, what? Oh, what if you like make like a little plumbing system that goes down here in a tree stand? You let it go. Oh, maybe, maybe. This is jalapeno cheddar snack sticks. We just grabbed it out of the fridge, yeah. and then we. Oh yeah, we also have deer bacon, which I've heard bacon's like a really good bait, but this is made out of deer. Some of these crawfish out here have probably never seen. Maybe it's the secret weapon, or maybe we don't catch any. So we're gonna go look for some pools in the creeks, but we'll probably throw. So we've got we wrangled up three traps. So we'll probably go check the pond out, um, because we have to drive past there when we're filling up with the, up the feeders and see, is it possible to throw them out there? It might be too mossy or muddy. We're not really sure. I mean, I think probably throw at least one in the pond. And then we might have to walk some of these creeks back here and find those pools. We found them before, so we might have to go do a little bit of hitchhiking, try to find these pools of basically like in the creek where crawfish would hike. Cause I think they crawl under rocks, right? And that like, they're stretched. Yeah. Like you look, we could look for some too while we're out here. Yeah. We might, we might, we might lift up some boulders, try to find some. Um, but the goal is gonna be to catch enough crawfish to do a catch clean cook. Big old crawfish. But like I said, we do have a backup plan. If we don't catch enough, we could always run to the store. But we want to catch something. If we don't catch anything, we're not going to. We're going to get something if you guys are watching this. So with that being said, let's get some of this feed. Load it up. Get some trail cameras out and get these deer fed. You guys stay tuned. All right. First feeder. So I got some. What's, why is there so much on the ground? I don't know what that's I think they stopped coming over here? Raccoons. How full is it? Is it empty? No, it's, it's not. It's probably half. Gotcha. But you just need to do it like that. Well, I'm surprised there's some on the ground though. Usually like the, I feel like the deer would eat it. Yeah. Maybe they don't like it off the ground. The has got it. All right, so I got some mineral. Dude, I wonder if the deer stopped coming over here. This mineral's not touched. Huh. Like normally there's like footprints and stomp marks. Oh yeah, like it's just, we don't even need to add any. This camera stopped working or did it? Or did they just stop coming? This was like our number one feeder. Yeah. That kind of concerns me. Cause there's no like real big trail to this. You, you think in the trail. summer they don't, they're not vibing over here? Yeah, I'm not gonna put any over here. All right, well, you go ahead and fill that up. I'll check this camera. <laughs> All righty, we got some new batteries. New batteries, who dis? This ain't gonna work. I don't know, we've been having some trail camera issues lately. It seems like they work pretty good for a while. Well, I'll see if they wor it works. It might, it may or may not. It's, it's on now, at least. It's not dead. It was just dead a second ago, but I think this grass is a problem. All right, we need to take the old weed whacker over here or something. Uh, we'll see if that works. Well, we got one camera, new batteries, feeder filled up. See you guys down at the pond. Shoo! Made it down to the pond, folks. And well, I am not too sure about this crawfish video now, Banjo. This yeah. is not, that is not looking too good. We might just throw one out and then the rest we might have to go look in the creek or something. This spot's not too bad. It's not that deep though. I don't know if it's gonna work. Yikes. This is just, uh, there might not be any crawfish. I know the crawfish live in mud though. I mean, I've seen where they burrow little holes and stuff. Let me throw that sucker out and make sure it, it'll get, it just has to get, I guess they can crawl up though. They don't yeah. have to be completely oh, submerged, think, right? Let's see what this sucker looks like. Really? You think they'll still eat that? I mean, they might. They still could crawl in. Yeah, it's not like they need to swim in it. Ooh, big chunky frog. Yeah, I mean, it's probably just worth it. Yeah, right there's not yeah, bad. Yeah. All right, let's do that. So bait, we've got deer bacon. Yes, that is a thing. And it don't taste bad. We've had it a couple times, but if we were gonna use any of our deer as bait, this would be the one I'd prefer. So, ooh, nice and soft. Apparently bacon's good for crawfishing. So maybe, maybe they like deer. It's a little bit more natural. Oh yeah, they're Thank oh you. no, it's it smells like meat, straight beefy meat. You ready? Yeah, hang on to that sucker. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh this might be the filet mignon for crawfish, buddy. Oh yeah, we'll go. I think three, three. All right, there you go. I think it'll work. So they live in mud. We really like. We do have a good chance here. It's just not that deep. I think the creeks might be a little better. So give her a quick eat. The stench, the oils off that are just gonna like go around and maybe maybe the crawfish live here. We're not we're not too sure on this one. This is like a, if I'd put money on it, I'd put like maybe a buck or two, whatever you're yeah. willing to lose. But you never know what's going on here. Is that tick? Yeah. Get this sucker off me. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta take that shot sometimes, you know? All right, well, trap number one down. Let's go fill the other feeder. We are at the next feeder, folks, and uh, this is one I think they're, yeah, see? Oh. See how you can tell? You can tell that they've been here. The other one, they might have abandoned. I'm not sure what the strat is there. And does that look like it's been, see, it's 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 stepped on. Yeah, there's still some here. There's still, yeah, there's still plenty of mineral. Yeah, you see there? Do say who what? Put out any cob corn yet? Yeah, we have oh, the okay. raccoons just rip it. Yeah, there's some cobs right there. So this is the one we've been getting. Like the photos you guys saw earlier, this was from this camera. So this is where we've got some more bucks coming through and the little fawns and stuff. So we're probably pretty good on mineral, honestly. It doesn't seem like it probably needs a whole lot more. A lot of times you're supposed to like kind of mix it in there, but I think it should be fine. What's the oh it's empty, isn't it? Yeah. 
pretty light. I bet, she, I bet it's pretty darn empty. They, it seems like they've been eating on this one, so. Let's get her filled up. Yeah, they could probably take another bag, but they like this spot, I think. We'll give them some freebies. Feeder has been filled. We got one more to go check, and then we'll go set some more traps. Stay tuned. We are at the last feeder, and this one is where you can tell the deer have been. See, this is, oh, hey, how's it going? See, that's when, yeah, and you even got the them turds getting it right there. This is how you know you got deer right here. So we'll put some mineral down. The problem is that camera over there stops sending photos. So we're going to change out the cameras to a completely different one and see if there's not, not much cell phone service with all these trees here, though. It's kind of a dead spot. But this is very clearly they've been getting after, and it's, oh, yeah, she's practically empty. So we'll get this sucker filled up. This is, again, I've mar I'm not going to take the time to go find the original video I came here but when I first ever came here for the very first time I said this would be the zone for deer before I had ever even seen a deer on this property and I think so far my theory is correct I mean it's the traffic over here is absolutely un freaking believable but you can see here we got a little the little creek action once we fill this up we're gonna follow this creek and find a pool with some rock but you see it's nice and clear see crawfish not in this one because it's too little you know crawfish in general would hang out in something that's like this we've seen a little bit of bigger pool with some rocks so we'll fill this guy up real quick and then let's head to the north and go find us some crawfish. I think that's good. I think they'll find it. We should be good. How's it going? I filled your stream up. Banjo's uh, pre-baiting for our crawfish adventure. Look at this sucker. That is the biggest beefcake of a day. Oh, rip, I broke some of it. Look how big this thing. I've... <sighs> Look at those Dude, little the suckers. The size of the individual. Yeah, the, it, it's like, like the size of a normal one. one. Oh, I'm going to have hella Danny lands right here. I wished for the crawfish lords to bless us with a crawfish or two or 12. We are going to go try to. Oh, man. this. We, it's been a while since we've navigated this creek. Should we go find a spot for. Oh, oh you're already right now. Banjo said he's ready. I said, should we navigate before we. We're going to find. We're gonna find it. Find that and some poison ivy. Right up the tush. Oh gosh. All right. Well, we're just we're gonna start. I didn't bring my water boots either, so I might be getting damp here. But we gotta find us a little pool in this creek. This is about the only access we could find. Man, it's grown up so much since summer. Basically, it's come here. Nothing. I'm thinking right down maybe after that. Sheesh. I don't remember. It's been a while. That's not. That ain't very deep. We need to find some more rocks. Oh. Oh, rip. Why'd you do I'm that? Gonna call it that. Whose idea was this? There's holes in there. Is there? Wait, where? Right to your front left. Look at that grass right there. And then it's right past them. They're small. Oh, they're, oh yeah, yeah, the little guys. What's, How are you getting out of there? Dad, I'm stuck. Put it in full wheel. This is really concrete. Yikes. I thought it was rocky. It's pretty much the opposite. We ain't dying yet. Where the hell is this opening at? You think it's further down? Rock. You got rock? All right, let's go this way. Yeah, there's, there's some rocks. I don't know. Let me check. I'll be ready to grab them. Ideally, if we could find like a shell or like some type of sun. Oh, oh it's a leaf. It looks like one. I don't know if this is deep enough. We might keep looking. Yeah, this will work. This is deep. Oh, yeah. Oh, one million percent banjo. This is the deal here. I mean, there's rocks right there. Yeah, there's rocks on both sides. So this is kind of like a little puddle. It's not It's not ideal. We're going to throw two traps right here. We're going to double down on this just because I feel like they would be in this. Like, they got to crawl over those rocks. This is the deepest pool we found yet. So we'll string this one up and we'll put, we'll put them side by side. Two strips of bacon in each. All right. Now, let's see what this looks like. It's, it's submerged. Oh, yeah, there you go. They're underwater now, ish. This is the deepest pocket we found. We've been walking for a little while. And... Oh, there's rocks down there. Oh, is it? I can feel okay. a lot of rocks. All right. Just... You want to rotate one facing two different ways, maybe? That yeah. and like that. And then that. Yeah, there you go. Well, I'm feeling 50-50 on it. This could work. We will just catch literally nothing. But there's See, there's a lot of rocks down yeah, there. Yeah, there is rocks down there. So... I mean, it's, it's probably our best shot. I, I can't really think of anywhere else on this property. I mean, there's a couple other bigger pools, like where we found those dinosaur bones, but that's really far away. It definitely away. was deeper a couple months ago. I think so. The water has gone down just a little bit, too. You can see the water line's kind of gone. So, I mean, a little pool between two shallow bays, you would think whatever's in this area would, could, like, congregate to the deeper area. So, anyways, we got the traps out. We're going to leave for the day, get out of the freaking sun. See you guys in the morning. Shoo! Wow!
Well, folks, it's the next day. We're already cooking out here. It's freaking hot. We, we should have brought the one with the AC. This mule is this mule is toasty, folks. Well, we are checking trap number one. And uh, what's that? Why do you have a coffee? What's you living in What's world? living in there? So we should use that for crawfish bait. That would be stinky. We're checking the one at the pond first. This is one I'm not. I'm not too sure. I mean, you might have. I, mean, I feel like crawfishing is something I've done before, but like it's not like coyote trapping where like I've got the strap down where I like know what what works, what doesn't. Like the the big nose or like the you know those type of things. It's just to me, it's just straight up trial and error. So this is the one that was yikes. She's sitting in. Oh, that bacon looks gross. It's dark brown. They got all nasty and baked in the sun. You think there's anything in there? I'm not feeling too. Oh, the rope fell down. Rip. I'm not feeling too good about this one, but I mean, it might. They live in the mud, like I said. I just don't know if they come in this shallow water. I think the water's probably too warm for them. What you got? Yeah, you got him. Nothing? Nah, I didn't expect much out of that guy. Right? Oh, that bacon looks nasty, though. Gross. Yeah, we might want to just leave some of that here. wonder what would happen if you left the bacon here. Maybe let's do that. Throw, maybe just throw it here so we can keep an eye on it. Like, maybe we just need to leave it for more than, like, a couple of days. Like, you just want it in the water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, throw the bacon out. There you go. Oh, see, it sinks. Perfect. So, we can keep an eye. Like, you know, if we come back next week and it's munched, maybe, like, we have to, like, pre-bait for crawfish. Like, let them know, like, hey, this is juice, right? We've got we got some bacon here. And then we come back with a trap and, what? Wow, bam! Hit them when they least expected it or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that bacon there. Maybe we'll have a, a shot at getting one. So the next spot is the one that's down in the creek, which that one I felt better about. I really did. I don't know. It's not much water. There's not much. So it's like if we cut... Oh, another frog. If we caught anything, I feel like it's like one, maybe two. It's just like, I feel like it's not enough water to actually hold legitimate amount. I could be wrong. If you guys have any crawfish trapping tips, if that's something you guys do, let me know. I'm trying to get better at it. I mean, the ranch is probably not our best spot. We definitely have some better spots than this, but we figured we could try trapping at the ranch. Maybe this is the juice. Like a crawfish mud hole like this could be the deal. So like, I don't know if you guys crawfish trap a lot, like does this look good? Do we just need to like keep trying this and maybe find like a deeper hole somewhere? Or do we like scratch this and just not try Trap at the ranch, I guess, or maybe we go in the creek. Hey, anyway, we'll go. We'll, we'll, I can't say much now because we haven't checked the creek one yet. So let's go check the creek trap. Because if we have one there, then maybe, maybe the creek is the strat. And if not, well, looks like we got to go get Subway or something for lunch. Oh yeah. No, Dude, big rig. Subway, baby. Nasty. Last time we had Subway, that was bad deal. What, really? What bad happened? Bad deal. It's just a bad deal. What happened? I don't remember. Am I missing some explosions? For you? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you had it too. No, well, I'm not blaming it on the subway. I'm, He's in love with subway. subway. It was bad. Bad deal. Anyways, let's go check the traps. Well, folks, this is it. This is the moment. So far, we are zero for one. We still have two. Well, oh, well, oh for three, but we've checked one. Would that mean it's we're oh for one? So far, we're oh for one. Out of, but we have three in total. Yeah, but those haven't been checked yet, so you don't uh, know. Oh, so technically, so you're oh and one out of three, but haven't checked two. Times 69, I'm pretty sure, is how we catch. Anyways, let's go check this stupid truck. If we don't have anything here, I'm gonna be pissed. This was, the pond one does not surprise me at all. That looked like straight booty cheeks, but this one, like it's a clear creek with some rocks. Oh, you got it, Banjo. We made this path. Yeah, I know you got, you got it. You got to figure it out. Oh yeah, these are thorny. You guys ever have ticks up your, Never mind. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that was, oh my gosh. Sharp, dude. dude, I'm getting destroyed. Oh, oh, why is that so sharp? Oh my God, what is, oh yeah, there it is, right? Wow. See, you like that? Look at that guy. That's, he's got some nice thorns that just entered my freaking shoulder. All right. Come on, come on, come on. You see any? Can you, you want to just check them for me? No, I'll go down there. I'm already, I've already made this far. Woo! We came in. We took a shortcut yesterday. We actually came down the long way, so we got a shortcut here. All right, banjo. I see food still. You still see the bacon? I mean, it's only been one day. I doubt even there's probably some in there. But go ahead and yank them up. Oh, I see one! Oh, there's one! Oh, there's two! There's three! No! Oh, there's three! Oh my God! Look! One in this one. What? Oh my, dude, they're giant. Why are they so big? Dude, they're giants out here. Look at that guy. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, oh he's feisty little guy too. Yeah, oh, that single guy tore up that freaking bacon. Oh, it is. Dude, you ripped it in half. You see that? They like the bacon strat. There's no way. Dude. I cannot believe that actually worked. I expected like maybe a little guy. Those are kagers. You think they're just living under the mud? Because like they weren't under those rocks when we pulled them up. They might be burrowed in the mud. Oh, man, we got it. We got three. Yeah. All right, well, let me see. Yeah, let me see these little suckers a little closer. Oh my. Oh my gosh, dude, those are definitely eaters. I didn't expect to get eaters either. That was the other, oh, is that guy dead? Oh, he's dead. Well, we got two eaters, I guess. I don't think you want to eat the dead ones, but. Dude, the deer bacon, look at that guy, he's alive. They're red, yeah. they're really dark. I, like normally I think when we catch crawfish, like that brown blue, I guess it's warm water though. Is that is that how it works? I have no idea. I feel I like mean, if it's, so. cause like when you cook a lobster, right? It goes from like a brown to like a yeah, red. red. You think it's the temp of the water? Yeah. I'm like, I don't think I've ever caught a crawfish that is like red, like a lobster like that. Like they're just straight up. Yeah, those are big ones. That Dead one's the smallest one, so I'm not that pissed. He got KO'd. That guy's not bad, but this guy's big. Them claws on there are big. Well, deer bacon. Shocker. I did not expect that at all. I thought we were going to have to go 
literally somewhere else like i like there is a river not not far you could always try down there maybe we'll have to try that next time i mean this spot worked for just 24 hours not even not even 24 hours we ended up getting three of them it's still not enough for dinner or i guess i should say lunch but it's it's at least a start so i think what we'll probably do is go out and maybe try to go buy some more and uh there's a market not too far from here that i think should have some we'll have to call them and see if they've got them today but ideally if we can keep these suckers alive for the next few hours and then go get some more crawfish and then we can actually have like a legitimate boil if we trapped here for a solid week we might be able to get enough or maybe just add some more traps what's going on here tick is he going for the jugular got him rip if we set more traps out here and did it for multiple days we could probably get enough but it's hot dude it's I'm, I'm damp i am moist banjo's moist we're all ready to get out of here but i'm just glad we caught a couple so well i guess we'll see you guys at the crawfish store or something stay tuned Shoo! well folks we picked up some crawfish and then we got to go to good old-fashioned walmart to get the supplies to cook them. macy's here she's like hey what are you doing down at the ranch yeah we're gonna go get some uh supplies to do a crawfish boil and she's like with out me so then we picked up macy so you're excited for crawfish boils the thing is like she's good at like cooking it's less work we have to do so i'm like you know what let's go pick her up so we're going out in the back door here of walmart uh because we usually don't get what was buddy's name chris uh, you wrote it down oh did i not chris what, what was buddy's name let me look this up we have a friend here and his name right. is his name is his name is darren darren big right. big daddy darren's in here he'll save the day if we get kicked out so let's go get the supplies all right, first thing we need is a little bit of butter. Do you need just normal butter? Where's Mason? I feel like it's spreadable. Sure. Yeah, I would think so, right? So it's the, the old taters. Light butter, canola, canola oil, oil, oil. Big Lando Lakes guy. We'll confirm that with Mason. So keep going down here. So for an official crawfish, well, you need the seasoning, obviously. You need the crawfish, which we just picked up some more. And then we've got potatoes to get, some shrimp, some sausage, corn, onion, lemon. I think that might be the majority of it. It's just a basic. We're doing some basic crawfish boiling, so let's go get the rest of the ingredients. Oh yeah. Slap ya mama. Huh? Oh, sheesh, Cajun seasoning. This is what we got last time. This is We got a different brand. It wasn't this one though? I sure. thought it was it was uh, You paused it. You sure it wasn't this one? I thought we, I feel like this we was were it. trying for that brand and we had to get something else. That Crawfish, shrimp, and crab oil in a bag. Are you, I feel like this is it. Okay, one unopened bag is sufficient. Four pounds of shrimp, four pounds of crawfish, or one dozen crabs. One unopened bag. I don't know how many bags are in here though. I feel like it sounds like more than one bag. You think it's more than one bag? Oh, there's more. You want two? Yeah, and then you want like, we need some just like some normal seasoning. Probably. I get slap your mama. You want some? Get, get slap that mama, yeah. son. Yeah, right. Everybody always talking about that. Slap your mama. We got some of this stuff. Hopefully, this is enough. Last time we did this, it was kind of unfla heavy. It was unflavored. Look at this guy. Oh, what? No. That's got to be Dude, fire. no way. That's like the ultimate struggle meal. It was like butter with some cinnamon sugar on some toast. Oh. Yeah. Busted. All right, uh, let's keep going. Banjo's always on big sausage duty. You want a kielbasa? So, so kielbasa, beef polska kielbasa. And then do they have and andouilles and spicy? Andouilles, we gotta get some andouilles. Oh, oh, oh there's yeah. Cajun style andouille right there. Cajun style andouille, so that's that's gonna be fire in your mouth. And then beef kielbasa, yeah. which isn't as spicy. So we one and one. Slap scale, medium. Just a medium slap. That's, that's all, all we need. That's all we need, just a little. We need shrimp, frozen probably, huh? Yeah. I would assume that the shrimp is frozen. And then we need some taters, some corn, and I think Macy's grabbing some of the other vegetables and stuff like that. Oh, is this some shrimp? What we got going on here? Oh, you cool. Super colossal, bro. Oh what? God. Why are those so big? Goodness. How many do we need? I'd say get like that, and then maybe like the mediums or like the jumbos. Oh, okay, okay. But do you want Is the right ones? Right. Oh yeah, it's the easy peel. I was just making sure it's like. There's some that are already cooked. We don't need that though, right? No. They say they're deveined. So we got yeah. super colossal and then just jumbo. We got two different. I think that should be that should be good. plenty of shrimp. So we got the shrimp dialed. We got the kielbasa and the andouille dialed. So I think what corn potatoes. and potatoes. I think is all that's left. Potatoes. Oh yeah. Red ones are the best. Oh reds, reds are are you good. Think that's enough. I would say so because you're gonna cut them. Yeah. Like, in like a lot. three or four different. Yeah. Are they always that big? I remember them being like like a little golf ball yeah, or something. One. What you are them guys? Too, maybe? Baby reds. No, that's what we need is baby, baby reds. reds. Yeah. I think baby reds are a little bit, a little bit easier to manage because then you only have to cut them in half. Yeah. I still that's, think we probably need more. Though. I'd say two bags. Two bags of red baby taters. All right, let's find the corn. Well, folks, they don't have 
corn. Can't believe it. Dude. What we need there? Some frozen corn cobs. I don't think I've ever eaten frozen corn on the cob before. So those like are already cut. I will say they're already cut. So if they don't taste like booty cheeks, I'll be happy. So one smaller bag. You think that's too much? Uh, Twenty-four of them. That's a lot of them suckers. You think just one of those guys? Yeah, we might. We might want to go down. This is just three cobs. Oh, six mini cobs. So you think that's enough? Six cobs. Two of those. Try two of them. That, that way we got twelve. Yeah. Twelve cobs on deck. We got the corn. We got the shrimp. We got the meats, and we bought some crawfish. Some live crawfish. We've got more to eat for the boys. So with that being said, we'll see you guys back at the ranch. That's, what I'm, that's gonna be my first question. <laughs> and I've got to come back if she does. <laughs> oh my God. Here you are. Thank you very much. Nice Appreciate it. Yes. Do, you have, do you have a boyfriend? Um, I do not. Can I get your I'm Snapchat? 18. I'm 20. No, thank you. Oh, rip. <laughs> She thought I was like 40. <laughs> Big rip on that one. You gotta shoot your shot, kids. Sometimes you miss. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Shoo! We are back from Walmart, folks. It is time to get cooking here, folks. We'll show you guys a crawfish here. I think we're, it's actually gonna work out nice and good. It's nice and uh, shaded over in this little porch area, but we'll go inside. Papa Beefcake came out here. He said he, he did some work. Oh, look, we got a little oh, banjo. You can't get in now. You know the code? Uh, Six, nine, six, nine. Oh, look at that, imagine that, it opens right up. Just kidding, that's not the actual code, don't try to come break in. 80, that thing, get, pop BK, jump plug it. 80, get out of here with that. So this is only 73 in here. This one probably just got turned off maybe. This thing working or what? Oh, there we go, okay. Look at all the cleaning supplies. And the sink works, I think. I thought he said he had to come fix it, so. Oh, really? Does that sink work? Maybe the water's not on. No, it's on. Look at that. What about the shower? We didn't run the shower yet. Okay. Remember how gross the shower looked? Oh, and we got a pooper that works too. Zach, give that one a try. That's what I'm talking about. Does that sucker work? How's that work? Give her a turn. Oh, you got it. Let's see it. Come on, you got it. Oh, oh, that's... Give it a little more pressure, maybe. I mean, you'll get wet, but barely. <laughs> barely wet. So it still needs a little bit of work in here, but that's kind of an update. We got some of the plumbing work. So the sink doesn't work still. Yeah, he said he was gonna come back and Okay, it, so. okay. And then you guys already know the drill in this room. We, we didn't bring a shop vacuum on accident, because, uh, yeah, we got I some. I thought Pop Beefcake was gonna fix it. Yeah, I, he didn't realize there was glass here. Kobe. You didn't play basketball, yeah. did you? No. All right, well, there's your cabin tour. In case you're new here, this is the cabin at the ranch. Now, let's get to cooking. What we got going on here? Oh, look at these little suckers. Oh, hey, hey, you settle down, buddy. We got keggers, boys. Look at him. He is going to eat up. Aren't you supposed to, uh, what do you call it, purge? You got to get him in water, right, yeah. to clean them for a little bit? We got a whole bunch. Look at these guys. We got a whole bunch in there. Yeah, they're, they're still kicking. I was gonna say we don't eat. If you eat a dead crawfish, you get really sick. That's what I've heard. So we got a whole bunch of crawdaddies in here, so that we actually get a feast. We did not actually catch enough for a feast, so we had to go buy some. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, look at him. He's he says I'm out. I'll see you guys later. I think we just fill him up with some water. There's a hydrant right over there, and get them all cleaned up. What's going on here? You're on potato duty. Oh, and corn. Well, you, you didn't have to cut the corn, did you? No, it was already cut. All right, so this is the spread, folks. We got everything laid out, ready to go. Macy's, we, we basically brought her to be the executive chef here just because we all know my cooking skills are. Oh, what? You brought oh. snacks? Hang on. Really? Oh, those are fire. You ever had these suckers? Oh, Wait, you've never eaten those? Mm -mm. That's supposed to be an explosion in your mouth. That was good. Oh, yeah. These sour punch these? straws? Like you've never had sour punch? Like a sour bites. batch. Mm. Oh, those are fire. Those are good. Mm -hmm. That's well, deal. we got the uh, water to boil now, and we got the crawfish cleaned out. So I guess you're supposed to uh, purge them, which all we did was ran them underwater. You see the water looks pretty clean now. The few crawfish that we caught earlier are in there. They're just the little guys compared to these guys. I mean, these guys, look at these. These guys are basically lobsters, not even close to the size we caught. So it's probably good that we went out and got some big ones. We actually have a meal. That is starting to boil now. So water's good, but those don't go in first. You said potatoes. I think potatoes and corn go in first then. Mm -hmm. So is that ready? Yeah, and then we'll squeeze yeah. those over it. Okay. And then put them in there as well. Got it. Okay, well. All right, so, oh yeah, she's getting now. Oh, sheesh. All right. Stand back. Nice and easy. Splash. Oh God, Ooh. someone's definitely dying. Someone's definitely gonna die. It's definitely me. Oh God, yeah. Hopefully that corn's not frozen, otherwise this thing's about to explode. Really? You ever seen someone put a frozen turkey in a fryer? Yeah, but that's not water. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how that, how that happened. You got it. Woo! There you go. Corn is in. I'll probably crank it up some now. The, the, uh, we got some corn in there. Get that fired. Oh yeah. You Get that fired. In now? What's going on here? Are the seasoning packs going now? I'd say so. Banjo's your crawfish specialist. Just dump them in, huh? 
I have no idea. Yeah. Tea bag? It makes sense. It's, like, it's a little yeah. tea bag action. We used those last year, right? And it didn't do much. We used or is that, that fire... Oh, that fire called? Cajun? Oh, we didn't use that around last year? We couldn't find that. That's what we oh. tried to find. Oh. Like that. So we should add those, too. Yeah, I mean, might as well. We got, I would. We got this. Slap your mama. Get some of that mama slapping. Yeah. Can you smell it for me? Woo! Makes me want to slap Woo! my mama. <laughs> really? Yeah. You just want a bunch of that in there? Yeah, just see what, see what it looks like. Okay. Yeah, we'll call that good. Then I'd throw a couple of those little packets in there, maybe, since those are... Well, last time we did this, this was like about a year ago, you guys roasted us. I guess, like, the water should look like lava. Like, it should be, like, red, red. We under-seasoned it last time, so we're... Because that's all we put in last year. It was, like, two of those. Yeah, that was it. Because we couldn't find any of this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We have that big spoon. We give her a quick stir. Oh, we got to lemon it, don't we? Yep. We got to give her give her a juice. Yep. Give it a little stir. Get them tea bags down there in the depths. Okay, it's looking better. It's looking like se it's seasoned. I was going to say, when we put the meat in, we can put more of that sloppy mama. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That that's spoon eight isn't quite dark and deep enough, is it? Yeah, she's a shorty. So Banjo's on lemon duty. So then we, how, how long do you think this will take to cook? Like the potatoes and the corn? Um, I, jeez, <laughs> what's going on there? I would throw awesome. the sausage in probably in 10 minutes. Okay. And then in like another 10 minutes, probably check the potatoes. Okay. And okay. then kind of. And then we do that. And then know. shrimps will very Shrimps last. last. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this after the meat. Okay. Though. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get some lemon in and let it sit for maybe five, 10 minutes. Check them taters. And then we'll throw the meat in and dewey and kielbasa and then goes the crawfish and then it goes the shrimp stay tuned so you see we don't have a long enough spoon you go right to there and now my hands on fire banjo's got the brilliant idea of strapping it to a stick duct tape fixes everything that is true you're not wrong so we're gonna go ahead and make extendo spoono with the sticko and this is gonna help us stir the pot without getting burnt up i think that's good keep her going keep her all the way you don't yeah. want it to fall off no i don't want the sucker to fall because then you're just dead gone yeah, you reaching your hand in there to grab it <laughs> nah it's cooking with the food all right that's probably i think that's probably pretty good yeah let's see if you break that off that ain't my fault oh this is game changer you look like, 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 like a freaking witch stirring, up the <laughs> <laughs> stirring my potion stirring my potion pot over here that's working decent it's better than it was at least i'm not burning all right well now we got the stick problem figured out let's let them taters cook Shoo! I, we definitely need more seasonings to abandon though water's looking a little thin slap your mama again I mean, really let's fish out a tater there's a tater Get you one in. Ooh. Oh, that's nice and soft. I mean, it'll still clear. Throw, it, throw it out on that. No, nope, don't dish it yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We, got, right, we gotta get going. You may throw it in. I don't really want to. Sandra, you got it. Did you cut them sp specifically? The Slant angles are. spicy. Slant is spicy. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Wieners are in, folks. And then shrimp? No, crawfish. And then crawfish. I mean, if that, do you think that, I mean, how dealt was that potato? We might want to get moving with it, right? We don't want to overdo it. Yeah, start slapping some mama in there again. Oh, yeah. I said we start dumping crawfish. Because that andouille and stuff in kibasa is cooked. It just need to be warmed up. Yeah. All right, let's do it. We got to make sure these suckers are alive. Ooh, that guy looks KO'd, no? He's moving a little bit. They got some cold water, so they're probably pretty lethargic. Oh, yeah, he won. Yep. Into the jacuzzi go. No, it's not worth it's not worth risking. I mean, he's just really lethargic. So All right, if he's if, if he's alive, just don't want to, oh, look oh, at that, that keggers, bro. Woo! Yes, sir, into the jacuzzi you go, my friend. See you later, dude. Wakey, wakey, sir. That guy's alive. Yep. We've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> she thinks she's funny. They think she emphasis thinks, on think. She thinks she's funny. Well, I don't know why you guys don't bring me along. <laughs> Guys, he's doing all right. Well, that's a small, I think that's one we caught. You see how small that guy yeah. is? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that might be the one we caught. Yeah, I'd say that guy's alive. Think so? Oh, yeah. Mr. Krabs. Wakey, wakey. He doesn't pass the vibe test. <laughs> oh, hey. One more. That's it. Frankie, you're going, going in. in. Sheesh, dude. This is a full pot, buddy. Goodness. I wouldn't put that... I mean, I want a lot of shrimp in there. I'm just not sure what capacity we got going here. Like, They'll fit. You think so? Which one are those? This is jumbo. Jumbo? I, I throw maybe half, half and half. Half and then yeah. see. Yeah, and just see kind of what we're dealing with here. Ow. Much <laughs> a little more, you think? Yeah. yeah a few more. Alright. So that was jumbo. Yep. And we got colossal. Super colossal. We just throw it all in there. All right. not a ton. Say, you want the rest? Do you think it can handle it? I'm not sure. It's a lot going on. I'd say put it in and then just put the lid on. All right, go ahead. We're feasting now. 
All right, shrimps in, crawfish are in. Hopefully those shrimp cook quick, they're frozen. You think they're gonna, maybe we should've put those in before the crawfish? Nah, they only take like two minutes to cook. So once. what do you think, five minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah, put the lid yeah. on for like five. All right, yeah. they're stirred up, Just put the lid on. Give it five more minutes, we should be good to go. Sheesh, about at her boil over once again. What, yeah. Wasn't last year when we looked it up, it was like sometimes we'll leave it uncovered and covered for certain, we just winged this yeah. one. Yeah, we didn't really have a recipe this time. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It looks good, like the color. The color's not bad. It definitely could be darker, but we will season it after. We don't have any salt and pepper, so it's gone. I literally asked you that. It was here last time I was here. Do we have salt and pepper? It's not here now. Woo! All right, let's try a shrimp. I would guess that's the thing that's gonna take the longest since it was frozen. They look good. They look pretty good. Throw it in your mouth, see what happens. It's hot. Put that shrimp in your mouth. Really? I bet it's done. I mean, it... <laughs> it's done. I'm calling it. It feels done. <laughs> We're good. Let's strain it. All right, this is where things are going to get dangerous. Got the pillowcases for pot holders. There goes nothing. Wow, she's heavy. All right, we're doing okay. Try to drain as much as I can before I start dumping the biggest. I say, I could keep, try to keep it in. I guess we could always just spoon it out. You good? Yeah, see, yeah. You want to just spoon it out? We can. Yeah, let's just spoon it. Okay. Shoo! That is some crawfish and boiling going on here. Take the spoon off. Oh, <laughs> oh run away wiener. I got the wiener. <laughs> uh, potatoes are done, tell you that much. All right, that's taking a while. Oh, that's pretty much most of the liquid, I think. Yeah. I think that's good. Should I just give her hell? Yeah. Oh, good catch. Wow, I'd say potatoes got cooked. They kind of look a little exploded. That's fine. Yeah. But at least they're done. Well, slap so your mama. Oh, hang on now. I hear Austin say slap your mama one more time. Don't yeah, mind. My if... mom's not going to be happy about this video. Don't mind if I do. And then you can do some Old Bay if you want some other seasoning. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe we should let people pick how much seasoning they want. I don't think the why we will Why do we bring her? On the entertainment. No, no, oh, we're, not, no, no. no we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Oh. All right, get a little Old Bay on there. Ooh. Here, you should spread it out a little bit. Take that spoon. There you got it. There oh we man. got it. This looks great. Wow. <laughs> wow. The whole thing opened up. In case you're curious. Macy, don't eat that side. There you go. All right. Good enough. Let's stick this meat in our mouth. Sheesh. It's been about a year since we've had one of these little suckers. Hopefully the seasoning's good. I'm trying to remember how you do this. Rip the tail off maybe. You gotta suck the brains out too. Remember that? Oh, I'll suck the brains out. Look at this. Yep, that was it. It's a good sock. You see that? Nice. Wow, that was not needed. How do you get this back out? There's a way, right? Don't you like squeeze you, like, it? Pinch. There's a way. You don't just sit here and oh, here. You pinch it like that sideways. Yeah, I pinched it. I remember that. Pinch. I just broke it off. That's where you like pinch at the bottom and it like shoots it out. There's definitely a technique to it. But oh, oh, I got it out. There we go. Get a little bit of that off there. We don't need any of that. Look at that guy. How do people season it where like you can actually like have some flavor? I don't know how you do it on this because like how do you get it inside? How do you get it inside? But, you know, I'm gonna gotta... slap your mom a little bit. I feel like yeah, you gotta you have to like post season it. That stuff's good. Is that the deal? Like it's not bad. It's just it's unseasoned. You know. I feel like I'm just gonna have a little pile on my plate and just like dip it in that. Oh yeah. No, like, that's it. The shrimp seasoned. You know. Okay. Woo! That's hot. Shrimp. Look at these big daddies. Oh yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll see how these if these guys taste seasoned or not. Otherwise, we might have to go. If you guys do this a lot, let us know what you use for seasoning. A little bit. It's better. It, it's got a little kick. Yeah. yeah. It's not got, too spicy. Took a second. It's, yeah. got, it's got a little kick. Okay. Yeah. You gotta try your first yeah. crawfish. Yeah. You've never had one before. Are you eating crawfish? Me? Yeah. I'm not eating one. Come on. Just eat one. Just I'm pregnant. I can't. That was the lamest excuse I've ever heard. That's what I'm thinking. But you'll eat shrimp? Yeah. Why? Like those crawfish were like dirty. I washed them. I washed them. Okay. Anyways, Zach's never had crawfish, so let's see what he thinks. You've had like lobster though, I assume. Shrimp. I don't eat up lobster a lot. Are you a big seafood guy or no? Yeah. Oh, okay. What crab do you? Crab leg shrimp. Oh, yeah. crab leg guy. See, I like crab. Crab legs are my favorite. Like, I yeah. take a crab leg over lobster any day. I just so, like, love crab. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, so, so pinch I the head and twist. Here. You just rip the tail off. And it, again, you guys probably have some tips. You can let us know what you think. But yeah, you just rip. Yeah, there you go. You so you don't yeah. you don't do nothing except you, if you want to suck the brains out. You can't like banjo. He yeah. He gave it the yeah, yeah just get, some meat in there. give it a suck. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Banjo <laughs> likes to yeah. suck in the Duke. He's not afraid of the Duke. So then just I eat this thing. So figure I'll out. just like peel it off real quick. I swear there was like a technique, a technique. last year. You like ripped the tail off and you pinched it and like shot it up or something. But see, and then you kind of just push it up. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. I'm just gonna do a little of this. Are you stuff. getting a little dipping pile going with the seasoning? Yeah. That might be the deal. There you go. You got, oh, somewhat. And then just peel that off. 
people house these. There's oh, no yeah. way they. No. There's an efficient way of doing this. I'm not. I think the claw. Did the claws ever have any meat in there? Not, not really. Nice. Okay, and then take that out. Yeah, that's the vein, and then that's it. Here's your crawfish. Ooh, a little butter. Okay, that's a power move. Power move. Let's see it. That, that was it. Really? Yeah. That's good. That's pretty good for crawfish, right? Oh, yeah. For catching them out of the creek, I mean, not all of these. Most of these actually came from the market. But, like, the fact that you can go out and catch that from, like, a dirty pond, and then, like, it tastes like good seafood, it's really not that bad. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. You going to try going for the, see if the claws got much? There's a couple of these bad boys that got some big, big meaty you pinchers. you've never had an andouille before? you never had andouille? I'm sure I have. He was like, Whoa! He squirter, said, why? Oh, you got some claw. Oh, there is claw meat. There you go. That might be decent. What's going on there, buddy? Easy, pal. Oh. It's not a race. So you got a little claw meat. Maybe the claw meat's even better. That's actually yeah, not yeah. bad. Some of the ones that we bought actually had some pretty meaty claws on them. Oh, yeah. Is that, it's just like crab legs. Really? Yeah. Is that it's andouille or is that kielbasa? Oh, that's andouille. andouille. It's, so if it's cut at an angle, you got to try, try some that. You got to try some andouille. Yeah, give that, a, give that a munch. Stick that wiener in your mouth. You're, you ever had something like that? I feel like I have. I you probably you, pro you probably have, yeah. It's pretty good. So anyways, there you have it, folks. We got our crawfish laid out. We got to eat away. We're starving right now. So enjoy the time, Miles. Done. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to roll that. <laughs> Folks, that was a good meal. We may or may not be sick. Uh, we tried washing them and stuff, but like I said, if you guys have any tips for crawfish boiling, the seasoning wasn't bad. We just had to put a lot on afterwards, but overall, it was good. You know, the ranch, probably not the best crawfish trapping spot. We got a few. We did. Now, better than none. Definitely not enough for an actual boil. So, we might have to try maybe some cre like bigger creeks that maybe even aren't on this property or just in this area or somewhere. I don't know. Let me know where, where do you guys find crawfish. Or like, like my buddy Trapper Jay, he just goes to the lakes and lifts up some bigger rocks. But if you guys have any crawfish trapping tips, let me know in the comment section. We'll hope you guys at home enjoy today's video. Catch you in the end. Peace.